Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 8724 and the problem is Mr. Perfectly Fine, the third problem. So let's see what the problem states. So the problem states like there is a person called as Victor. Okay, let's assume this is the beautiful Mr. Perfectly Fine person and he has a requirement that he need to get two skills. How does he gonna get two skills? By reading books. So he has like, let's assume that there are shelf and there are N books here, okay. So each book will contain like M I minutes to read. So this will take M one minutes. This will take M two minutes. Similarly, there will be M minutes. Okay, uh, because book size might be bigger. Book so because of that minutes might be bigger. Maybe, and one of each of the book will have a certain skill. Suppose uh, if he reads the first book, he will have he can acquire the first skill. Suppose if he reads the second book, he can acquire the second skill. And there are only two skills corresponding to each book. And if he reads the third book, it can happen that both first and second skill together, it is there in that book. And uh, there can be a book that states none of the skill is there. First is also not there and second is also not there. So how are the skills defined? The skills defined are of the format of either one or zero. So if a book is there, if the book is having the skill, having the first skill, it is represented as one. And if the second skill is present, it is represented as one. If the first skill is not present, it is zero. And if the skill is not present, it is second skill also zero. First skill is present, second skill is not present. First skill not present, second skill is present. So similar to if a skill is present, it is one. And if a skill is not present, it is zero. So this is just the representation. So how are they gonna give the output? The out, uh, sorry how are they gonna give the input the input will be of this format they will give you how many books he has and how many minutes it will take for him to read the book and also uh, what is the skill corresponding to it this is also straight away implementation you can do so there is nothing hard here so uh, they are asking what is the minimum time required to complete all the books so how can we solve it? So there are many cases, right? Let's see with the help of few examples here. So in this case, he, uh, he by reading the second and third book, he acquired two skills together. So the time he taken is seven. So you see here it is seven. Now uh, for the second test case, there are three uh, books here and there are two books here, which gets the first skill and second skill, three books. So we can take three and uh, two, five right you get the minimum value minimum minutes here so here all are there either he can take this book alone because one book if he spends nine minutes he can get two skills together or he need to spend two books eight plus seven that is two books to get two skills what will he take he will take the minimum value either eight plus seven he'll take or he'll take the nine so in our case it will take he'll take nine see this test case this test case there is no book that says uh, that gives you the first skill so obviously answer is not possible. So in that case, you print minus one. Similarly, it is same as here. So here you see uh, there, there is one one here, two skills are there, two skills are there. And one skill is there. If only one skill is present, zero one also need to be present, not needed actually, because one one is already present. Even if he reads nine or eight, he will definitely get two skills. So out of that minimum is what? That is eight. And that's how you got eight here. So. As I told you, it is a straight away implementation. So while doing implementation, it's just that we don't have to make mistakes while doing it. So how do we solve it? Um, we'll mask everything, right? One zero can come and one one can come. You take it as a string, okay? If you are using C++, because if you take it as an integer, only one will be mapped. Zero one will be taken as one or some issues can come. So if uh, what I'll do is I'll take while traversing it, I'll use something called as right minimum for the second skill and left minimum for the second skill and common minimum. So what does it mean? Whenever I get one one, there can be multiple one ones, right? So out of the multiple one ones, I take the minimum minutes and out of the zero one, out of the only zero one right skill alone, I'll take the minimum minutes out of the left skill alone. I'll take the minimum minutes. Now, if those are present, I'll take the minimum minutes of all of this. Now, what is the condition I need to add? So first thing, first, if common, uh, so suppose if this 11 is present, if 11 is present any time in the array, we have two conditions here. So can you guess what are those conditions? If 
two skills are present together for one book for many books if this is coming in the array then we need to check whether 0 1 and 1 0 are present if 0 1 and 1 0 are present we take the minimum value for 0 1 and minimum value for 1 0 so once if all these three are present what do we do we take again the minimum of what is the minimum value you got for 11 suppose it can happen that 11 can be 5 and 7 and 2 and also it can be like 2 0 1 and 1 1 0 1 sorry it can be 2 1 0 anything so i'll pick like okay out of this the minimum value is this and uh, 0 1 i'll pick this and 1 0 i'll pick this so you have already got this with the values of right min left min uh, common min through the for loop okay i'll show you the code so what do you do i just take the minimum of common minimum comma i just need to add these two minimum together that is left minimum that is the first tasks minimum plus right tasks minimum how did i get this because i traversed it and i am pretty sure that these both exist in the array and if this exists and any one of this does not exist what happens if this exists and any one of them does exist no problem because two tasks are already there i'll simply print the common minimum value okay now if this is not present if this is not present at all this 1111 one, one, one is not present only 10 one, zero and 01 zero, one is present what will you do you just have to check whether 10 is present and both of them are present together you just have to print left minimum plus right minimum okay in this case this 11 one, one is not present but these two are present you print both of them else what happens if only one of them is present it's not possible you print minus one okay so now let's see the code uh, so what did i do i took the minutes here i took the skill here then it's a string right if it is one one the s skill of zero will be one left side and skill of one will be right side if one one is present i am having a variable called as common minimum here and mapping the minimum minutes okay suppose it is 511 this 511 or 411 comes this common min will hold the minimum value so in this case common min will hold the 4 okay this mapping and left skill so if 11 one is not present what are the other combinations 0 1 can come 1 0 can come 0 0 can come if 0 0 comes i'm ignoring i don't want it if 0 1 comes that is if skill of 0 equal to equal to 1 i go for this one and map the minimum value to it that is if 5 1 0 comes and 2 1 0 comes 2 will go here and skill of 1 equal to equal to 1 means it will go for this set that is if the right side is having right skill that is the second skill i'll map the minimum value then as i told earlier if common min not equal to int max what does that mean by default i am uh, assigning common min left min everything as maximum value beyond which it can't come so if it is not equal to int max i am doing if left min is present common min not equal to int max means somewhere on the for loop common min has been initialized so if common min is initialized definitely i can say that 11 one exists now if left min is not equal to in max that is 10 exists and right min is also not equal to in max 0 1 also exists so minimum of common min what is the minimum i got from that comma left min minimum i got from 10 and minimum i got from 10 you just add these two so you got it now if one of them is not present if 10 is not present as i told earlier you simply print the 11 so when this is not present and if these both are present you simply add the minimum values that you got from the array and uh, if none of them is present you simply print minus one so this is the process this is also very straight away implementation the only corner case is while writing these conditions right you just need to be careful and think that whether uh, all conditions are covered so one tip is like whenever we are writing conditions right make sure the else statement is also there don't use if statement is present means make sure the else statement is also present else there will be some condition that can go wrong so uh, yeah and uh, this solution is also accepted here uh, this one i can link in this once the hacking phase is over you will be able to access the solution so if you like the video please comment and subscribe we'll see in the next question